Hello, my name is Meryl Getty and I am here on Church Street today asking people about stress and how it connects to the mind-body relationship. How do you guys typically recognize when you're feeling stressed, both um, physically and mentally? Um, I usually like feel myself withdrawing. Like I, I kind of like move away from people and I, I get quieter and I, I get a little more sullen and I, I, I just try to be on my own more. I agree with that. I think I kind of tend to like isolate a little bit and try to, whatever's stressing me out, I try to handle it on my own, like in my room without really consulting other people. And so I know that I'm stressed when I'm alone in my room a little too much. And are there specific activities or practices that help you manage stress? I think kind of doing what we're doing right now, just getting outside and, and enjoying the day and doing what you can, but also giving yourself time to just relax and not worry about things, even though that's really hard. So just kind of trying to give yourself space. Yeah, I think what we're doing right now, like I got my camera, I'm kind of happy to be out and about making art on a walk. Um, I tend to go to yoga a lot, went to yoga this morning, that helps. Um, I tend to rock climb when I get stressed. <laughs> I do a lot of things when I can. And to give yourself grace, you were right. Yeah. Understand that sometimes it's hard to make time for those things and it's okay if you can't. And can you guys give me an example of a time that you responded um, to stress and what happened to your body physically and mentally? Um, I feel like with me, I, I get panic attacks sometimes. It's, it's kind of a wild experience. It's kind of like numbness in the hands and face, tightness in the chest, hyperventilating, rapid heartbeat. It's, it's kind of intense. It's, it's scary sometimes, but usually they pass. And, and if you have friends around or you can call someone, they can help you out. Yeah, take a different approach. Maybe I had a lot of midterms the last couple weeks, and so I spent a lot of time in my room, not sleeping, studying, not doing my dishes, all sorts of things like that. Um, and it takes a toll on your body. You know, you're tired, you get a cold, and things just don't feel great. You get tight in the shoulders and all sorts of things like that. Just long-term stress. How do you guys typically recognize when you're feeling stressed, both physically and mentally? Uh, my heart starts to race. I get anxiety really bad. Yeah, elevated heartbeat. And I would say inability to focus as much. And um, what are some activities that you guys do to alleviate stress? Uh, I go running pretty much um, or listen to music really, really loud. Um, make sure I'm hydrated with water and take my dogs on a walk and can you guys think of um, a specific example of a time that you responded to stress and what happened to your body um, physically and mentally um I just had a house fire and my dogs were inside the house fire and not thinking and like going in and like knocking down a door and getting my dogs out um something that i don't think i would normally have done if i was not stressed out oh. um evaluate and see what there is i can do my background's in ems so um i wouldn't show panic because that's the way i was trained but if you test my blood pressure it's probably way up <laughs> makes you happier then do it more than less because then you get out of your whatever depression you get as bummed out as you can to get to the bottom of the down here and then you got nowhere to go but up right if you stay up here and go you never get down to the bottom of it and then you go no I'm taking myself way too seriously and then you head back up and it takes a little while so you get happy right and how do you typically recognize when you're feeling stressed, both physically and... You get the feeling, I don't know, you can make it like a color contrast, like uh, I feel blue, or I'm red hot, like my temper is too, like a spiky ball, you know, like a uh, mace. If you were to lose it, would you tell somebody I lost my temper and you need to help me find it? It was kind of like a red spiky thing with a ball of fire inside of it. Would I pick it up if I found it, if it wasn't mine? No, it might burn your hand off. And then you result in uh, 
trauma. And what are some specific activities that help manage? Right now, just doodling. A, a gentleman dropped off some stuff for the Saratoga thing. We made a big joke out of it. He got stuck. I threw this thing down and said, I was framed. And he was laughing. And he threw me a pen to do some stuff with. I got a nice Herkimer diamond. And uh, you move on with your day. And then things get... I mean, the sun came out. It's noticeably better. Seems more like Halloween now than that cold weather that we had last night. I'm starting to rhyme. This is not good. Depends on where you live in your neighborhood. If you have a neighborhood watch that makes you feel more secure, right? I think it's about coming together as a community over personal interest or uh, your own personal destruction or need to personally destroy anyone else by throwing a bad name at them, whether it's whatever. I'm not going to say bad names because the kids are on the air as well. Um, if I was live, um, I'd be saying be nice or somebody might... Look at this guy. He got a cute dog. Look at this guy over here. Uh, if you smack his dog, his dog will probably bite you. But dogs, dogs have family. This is what they say. Dogs have family. Pets, right? Very important. They're like your little baby. If you only have a pet, that's your kind of your test drive to see if I can handle a kid. If you're not responsible enough to have a puppy, then you're definitely not going to have a kid yet. But a couple will get a you know, just to see how they are together with the, will you walk him, can I feed him, is it an exchange, or do you do all the walking feeding? And she's like, isn't he cute? That's not really fair, unless she's busy. Blah, 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 blah. So dogs have family, but cats, what do cats have? They have staff. <laughs> get in the morning, your cat goes, get my, uh, get my food, <laughs> get out of here. And you're like, okay. So the problem with a cat is uh, ba a name like Bastet. Study your Egyptian stuff, kids. Here's Bastet. She is a cat goddess. Right? So once you tell a cat, I'm a god, they never forget that. That's why a cat looks at you like, how dare you even, well, you know, Odie and, uh, what's the, Garfield? Garfield's a perfect example of a cat who's like, I'm going to beat the crap out of this, oh, I'm going to mess with this dog. Sorry, kids. Uh, but it's a cat. And a male version of that and a female version are different. If you have cats and dogs, you know the female cat will be different than the male cat. It's just a... Are they different, different? Yeah, she's female, he's male, but... Look at this guy. He's dressed up for Halloween. Look at your Halloween shot. Look at you. Thank you so much. All right, so what are some ways that you recognize that you're stressed, both um, mentally and physically? Um, mentally, and my mind is racing. Uh, physically, my heart is racing, uh, my chest gets tight, I start to sweat, uh, and I feel maybe like for sure, um, trying to, trying to calm different parts of my body, focus on calming, um, and then try to think about something else besides whatever, what's making me stressed. What about just like activities? Focusing, like, like I have to turn the radio off and, and concentrate. Um, so yeah. 
Thank you guys for watching.